Not, not that again. Yeah. It's because I'm on the main menu. But hello, everybody. We are going to continue and uh, hopefully end our experiences here in Assassin's Creed 3 with the final episode, episode 3, of the tyranny of King Washington. Uh, yeah, the episode 1, ultimately in hindsight, not super terrible. Uh, episode 2 was very frustrating just due to the sheer volume of uh, Terminator guards. So I have no idea what episode 3 is going to be like. Because it's funny, episode 1 opens up very nicely and I think like, Oh, it's going to be like a linear experience. Turns out it should have been, but it wasn't. And all the Native American characters were speaking English all of a sudden. As opposed to the main game. I think the... Like, I don't know. I don't want to presume. Because I'm not sure exactly. But it seems like the only... Definitively... The only two Native American, like... Explicitly parts are like... Connor and his childhood friend whom I keep forgetting the name of. And even if I did know the name of, I pro probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it. Because I am a fool. I can barely speak English! But it, it, it's just so weird to go from, like, the cool aspect of the Native American language that's being used, that I don't know the name of because I'm a Philistine, and they just decided to go the cool artistic way of having all the Native Americans, like, speak in the language and not have the animus translate it. And then they just cut that out for this, for whatever reason. And I don't know why. But, aside from that, it's just like, it... <laughs> the UI issues in Episode 1. Just overall, the guard issues. The combat got a million times worse. With the counter notification not showing up. Ever. Sometimes. Multiple times in a row, even. Horrifyingly. And then the stealth just feeling utterly botched, like every single time I stealth kill a guy, all the guards in the whole freaking county decide to come on in for a potluck. It just... I'm fearful of what episode 3 is going to have. Either they're going to introduce a third animal power, which I have no idea what it could be except for a combat power-up. Whereas, like, the wolf power is, like, a one-shot, oh, go harass those guys, as well as stealth. And then the bird power is, I'ma fly away! No idea what a combat power-up would be. Especially because I basically have been using the wolf power-up as a combat thing. But it's kind of annoying that the game presumes it to be an escape tool. When I would just like it to instantly make me invisible so I can just shank some people. But, I just realized. I think Shadow of Mordor also did this better. In terms of like, hey, you can activate the super power-up. So you can go on an infinite stealth killing spree. Which is kind of the wolf power-up, but better. Even though I never used it in Shadow of Mordor because Shadow of Mordor didn't piss me off. Yeah, yeah. But all my scruples and annoyances aside, I hope that episode 3 sticks the landing. If it just magically goes back to Assassin's Creed 3 main game levels of guards and combat and like guard awareness. The guards were still super aware in like the main game, but if they just tone it down back to that, they might be able to salvage this DLC. And then I can just like forget about the middle part. But hi diddle diddle! Doesn't matter anyway, we're not gonna be saving any civilians or feeding any civilians or stopping any slave caravans. The only thing we're gonna do is uh, suicide run to the lucid memory fragments, activate them, probably die, and then watch that and then just speed run the main game because my patience has run thin. Oh, hey, we get to see the original Assassin's Creed 3 release graphics for this, I think. Again, I swear, it looks different. Maybe they just put a... Like... 
Talk like, about. maybe they put a filter over it to be like, oh, this is previously on. My friend, but, I cannot believe you are here. again, I swear, I sometimes the graphics look too the different. The and better, brother. even. Which makes me think that it's <laughs> not. Again, she just died so unceremoniously. But then again, like, every character seems to die unceremoniously in this game. Except for Lee. Lee is the only one who got, like, a super proper send-off. Again, I have to free him from Washington's power. it's just kind of hilarious that the best the aspect of these DLCs is the Native American stereotyping <laughs> as a gameplay mechanic. And then Adams just gets brutalized. An attack there would be completely unexpected. You can get me past these protections. This is a fool's errand, my friend. I hope to see you in New York. I hope to see you, but then he what dies. What happened? Boston Neck was a trap set by Putnam. And then again, these are kind of idiots because they didn't, everyone killed. like, even stealthily try to leave. Stole my ship, you shite. Easy, Mr. Faulkner. Mr. Franklin is on the side of the rebels now. We need your help. I'll need you to untie the killer so it's all set to go. Meantime, again, the graphics we'll kind of look the same, but safe. kind of look different. Swim! I'll hold him off until you're ready to sail. And then I will Thanks. save my friend. Over here. Call back your men and give yourself up. I knew you only it is a bit disappointing that like every single target we've gone after has been like, oh, I was not myself. Go kill Washington Blair. Look at that. Oh, oh, I. I didn't even realize what that was when I was playing episode 2 because the graphics suck in this remaster. That's a pyramid! There's a pyramid in New York! And I didn't even realize it because the lighting engine in this remaster sucks ass. Are they gonna make me do the sale? Huh. Huh. Successfully brace. But why would I do that? Oh, did... Did this just automatically give me, like, ship upgrades? Because... Or did they just make the ship health bar match the normal health bar? I'll just fire. Kind of neat that they're actually putting in a boating segment for the DLC. I'm sorry, that should like annihilate you. You should be dead. Especially because you're about to get friendly fired there for a moment. Who needs to brace when we can just kill everybody and not die? I think they're gonna try and ram us. Huzzah! Best part of the DLC so far! Because it's just normal gameplay. <laughs> Granted, it did feel like we were kind of amped up in terms of our health. But hey, that was actually fun. Almost makes me regret not doing the other naval missions. But at the same time, that's just more side content that would have prolonged my suffering elsewhere in Assassin's Creed 3. Now this is the real... Sea of Thieves. Apparently Sea of Thieves have finally added PvE where you don't have to worry about assholes jacking all your loot 24-7 and making yourself into an anxiety fest. And then they just like made it kind of shitty to compensate. 
because all those assholes would complain if their victims could get away scot-free. But what ship is this? It's not our ship. Whose ship is it? What named character from the last game is dead? Oh, never mind. You heard him, boys. All in the I guess that's quote-unquote one of the people we've killed, and now we'll use them to stealth in. You'd think that they'd be like, hmm, minefield. Minefield? Did they even have sea mines at this period of time? Well, I guess maybe you could just make. If you bump into this with a ship, it explodes and it floats around technically land- well, not landmines, sea mines. But that is a long tale for another day, Mr. Faulkner. Slow down, lad. There's mines about. Don't shoot the mines. That'd give us away for sure. At least I would like, uh... At least this means that when I get to Black Flag... I will uh, not have to worry too much because the boating will be part of the actual game. Don't know which way I should have gone. Then again, maybe this is just stuff that Washington dreamed up from the Scepter because it's just weird runny into things floating on barrels apparently we hit the rocks there they are we fooled them with our flag christ they're on top of us better shoot first catch them with their knickers down shoot the mines now lad blow those boats to kingdom come Hard, it was hard to actively shoot the mines. Hmm, they're gonna ram us. Bastards. Well, now that we have a billion people to kill... Go to full sail so that we can just hopefully to survive a bit. Damn big ship isn't dead. I was like, am I hitting things? I keep getting jilted. I don't have a kill counter this time. I'm sorry, that- you should be dead. Oh, I need to slow down. We are heading right back towards the mines. Oh, no. Gotta turn away from the mines! Or else we'll just get annihilated. I feel like a million ships are spawning on me. You can avoid damage! Why would I want to avoid damage? Darn it. Blow up the big ships. Okay, my guys are just gods. <laughs> With their aim. This is a uh, just bomb crew, dude. Yeah, if you didn't go down from that, I was going to call shenanigans. Goodbye, little boat. We get rid of the little boats.
Did I run into a ship or a continent? What is it? Was that all optional? Destroy 80% of the armada. Full sail, Mr. Faulkner, then abandon ship. You too, Conan I will see you on shore. Everyone's like, he's crazy. He's just like, I've done this before. Will I control a one man ship or will it be cutscene? I do like that I have no options because I need a full crew to actually change. Like, sh like the sails and fire things. I can still take cover, though. We... <laughs> it feels like I just annihilated that other ship by ramming it, and I'm still alive. Because I'm a god. I'm a god of the sea, apparently. Shoot away. I'm a one-man ship. And I'm here to kill you. That is not at all where I was. That is a very explosive mana war. Like, how, how volatile of gunpowder did they have on that ship? Then it turns out that uh, Connor died in that, and now we play his uh, childhood friend for the rest of the DLC. And he's like, man, I wish Connor would have let me have that tea, because now I have nothing. He's, he's dead. You don't even look wet. My spectacles, thank God. They're attached to my character model. Again, I'm baffled at the fact that I couldn't even s tell that it was a fucking pyramid that was being made. I'm like, that's weird. There's like a block thing, but I didn't really comment on it at the time. Because I didn't know what it was and didn't really care. Quite a sight, isn't it? Uh, stay away from me. I will not come under your power again. No need to worry. Good job. Now steal the scepter. Steal the scepter. It idiot. And now for childhood friend dies after we just saved him. This is a... W okay, that was cool. But I was going to say, you're having trouble with a single goon. Goodbye, childhood friend. That was a pitiful war cry, and why did why did he survive? He pro provided nothing this entire way. They didn't even bayonet him. No, 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 why did the childhood friends survive again? To save Benjamin Franklin? Well, you see, the Native American has to survive so he can save a white man. Huh. That just feels odd. Because we thought that he died along with Adams. Then the game went psych. He actually survived. And we saved him. He was barely there. Get this off me. Yes, your highness. Yes. And then that soldier becomes the new emperor. Never touch that. Another one. Disperse and find them. Yes, your highness. But that was just such a pitiful waste. Such a pitiful waste. Apparently we have a, a four shooter gun. But why why care when I can wolf? Yeah, it's, again, why did he exist? Just to suffer? He saved Benjamin. For what he done. 
He saved my life. He very nearly killed Washington. What do you mean atone for what he'd done? What did he do? What did he do? I don't think he did anything wrong. He got captured? He... I guess they quickly threw out there that under torture he told them what Connor was likely to do. But that... Man, he just didn't get any respect in either version of events. In the original version, he was a dipshit that believed Charles Lee and had to be killed by Connor. I guess here he had a more honorable death in which he was actually trying to kill the bad guy. And then he failed because he was a bit headstrong. But, yeah, still. Yeah. It will take more than a tomahawk. Well, he came pretty close with that tomahawk. It will take great power. What is the animal going to be today? This useless. Don't be foolish. That trick it only opens doors. What are you doing? What do you mean? The animal spirits know things we do not know. If I journey What is that key? It looks like a special key. Am I supposed to know that key? Like Are you all right? I'm trying to Was that part of like if you gather up all of the almanacs Benjamin shows up and like, I have invented a precursor civilization key. Or what? It just looks like a normal key. Was that the thing that he made out of the horseshoe or what? I don't know. I feel like I'm out of the loop. Was there a secret episode 2.5 that I missed? <laughs> Keep watch. Why couldn't we go to a safe place and then do this? Hell, even when we were at a safe place in episode 1 and did that, things still went bad. Well, uh, also, considering that the two animal powers we've gotten, stealth and, like... Because I'm a smart man. Oh, you could actually fall off. That's new. But yeah, like, the first time we went on this vision quest, <laughs> we still weren't safe. And we thought we were safe. Oh yeah, I need to remember how to power. I weep for you, my son. Like, obviously none of this returns in future games, which is just a pity. It's so cool. What do you mean? Like, nothing has happened. You have defied me. You ignore my last wish. Yeah, well, you died. If you wanted me to, uh, like... Respect your wishes, maybe you shouldn't have died and shown that, like, without these powers, everything would be worthless. Oh, bear. Guess that makes sense. Super spirit bear with triangles. Oh, save the bear. Okay, I need to climb, so we're Shadow of Colossus seeing this. Never played Shadow of the Colossus. Really should someday. Here it's very good. <laughs> Although I just realized something funny that this could all be. That. <laughs> that Connor's mother could be like all the people like uh, you avoided like a lot of Native American stereotypes and you <laughs> used the spirit journey animal power connection thing stereotype oh Jesus there's one in its head I got sidetracked, but now you get Connor's mother is basically a stand-in for all those people. At least this is a pretty cool, like, minigame section. 
I see you, Apple of Eden, son. Let us remove the last spear. Will this finally make combat fun? Will I be able to combat freely and without fear? Or is it just gonna be like Sacrifice health for major damage AoE. Because I feel like that's what it's going to be. Defeat Washington using bear might. You cannot match my power. I am freedom itself. I am freedom itself. This time I'll make certain of your death. So yeah, it's just an AoE that probably uses health as resource. Oh, but this might make it cool. How is he summoning guards in here? Bear might. If this is just something I can spam, it will make this get this episode a billion times better. But if it is cast from hit points and it does major damage to me, so it's like, "Oh, you can't use it too much." It is going to be worthless to me, for the most part. Maybe, a, or who knows, we'll have to see. I gave you more of that tea, I figured it would help. You were feverish. What's happened to your eyes? Native American stereotyping. Where did you get the extra tattoos? We must separate to search out Jefferson and the Rebellion. Very well. So let's see. Bear slam. Eh, might as well. At least they're not completely dumb. But how did active combat happen? I'm invisible. Do they have Native American powers, too? That guy just spawned from thin air. Like, I swear. Just, again, the game is going down the... Oh, dang it. I did the mistake of assuming game would be nice and let me actually co counter people. Because the good Assassin's Creed's let me do that. But then this game is just like, no, you don't get to. But fine, we'll charge in and see how this works. How much health it takes away. A decent amount of health. But now I just need to run around until dudes come in and then... So yeah, that's basically the only way to play this. Game, I was, I'm parkouring and you're having a guy auto-lock onto me. That's bullshit and you know it. <laughs> but no, seriously, that is super bullshit. And now we'll run around, gather our health back. And then we'll smack him with the old bear power. Because it's the only way to play this. Because these guys just spawn out of midair for some reason. And they auto lock onto you, which is just, you know, best game mechanics. I hate that they auto lock onto you from a million miles away. I miss being able to heal myself. Oh, wait, I have an idea if we find a bush. Game, why are you being stupid? Ah, bush. And now I'll be able to get my health back. 
Except now they... Yeah, it took forever for it to, like, go back to normal, like, color palette. I thought I was still in wolf power mode. Game is being dumb. So yeah, it's basically hit and run tactics. Go in, use a bunch of health killing guys of bear power, use wolf power to run away. But that's basically it. I have unlocked the true way of playing this game. It's not actually going in and treating it well. It's just bullshitting around. Well, now let's see. Where's the other lucid fragments? We'll just bum rush them, activate them. If I die, who cares? Dying just apparently takes away your arrows more than anything. Let's see. Then the first fragment. Can be found down there. So down this away. So yeah, you run in, you bear power a few times, you run away, heal up with wolf power by getting into a hiding place, and then you run back in. Let's see. Again, the game did the weird thing of taking me out of my power for no reason. Why does it just randomly take me out of my power? I hate it. Is it supposed to, like, symbolize them figuring out that I'm there and the illusion breaking down or what? I wish it would be consistent. Again, I am out of my thing. And hey, look, dudes just spawned out of the ether. Because, you know, that's fun game design. And I think that's all the dudes dead. So it's Haytham memory time. I wonder what he was like in this timeline era. Luckily, this time, it wasn't as much of a... What the fuck? I hate this. Genuinely. This is such terrible design, like... They randomly figure out that you're here, for like, no reason. And I hate it. You just walk around, their Terminator senses activate, and they go, I know where you are! I can see the future! Oh ho I can see him! That's just so obnoxious. Because it treats it like they're actively searching for you, and they're gonna find you, no matter what you do, in a stupid way. Just like, why? Why would you do this? Alrighty then, let's see if I can pinpoint that on the map. Hmm. I believe it's up here is what the marker is pointing. Help the civilian! No! Because my goodwill towards this game is dead. So I'm just going to fly the fuck away. Did they activate and they're like, there he is, right there. And then the game decided you don't even have that fun. Screw you, player. Again, hate that they just decide to take away your powers at random for no reason. After just going, oh yeah, by the way, uh, no, you don't get to kill people. Oh, 
hilarious. They're just running by. It's like they're pretending to be reasonable. But yeah, the guard AI is probably the worst thing in this game. Purely because it's just annoying to deal with. It's annoying for combat and annoying for stealth, and it's just not fun. Not fun, I say. Which means that I have less practice using my bear power because I don't want to get into combat because combat is stupid. I shall just fly away with my moon shoes. I hate that it just like orients my camera sometimes. Stop it messing with my camera. You bastard. Help the civilian. No. Don't think that I will. All right, bear power. Bear. That's extra ag aggravating that it goes in. It randomly leaps sometimes, which is dumb. Why would it be like, oh, Now that's my major annoyance right there, is that it randomly seemed to leap or just stand and do it. What, is this the memory of me almost dying? Yeah. I don't think this is the same place at all, but... Hey, a gallows is a gallows, I suppose. And let's see what's the final location of the Lucid. Let's see... Uh, it says, upper right of the map past the pyramid. Hmm. Let me just go back to that. Kind of over here-ish. In that direction. Warning, the convoy is leaving. Why? Well, it's not like I was going to do it. I don't get anything for doing it. Save people, the game says. Why? They're, they're treasure chests that I have to do more than open. That is all that they are. And I am far from immersing myself in this game to care and be like, Oh, I should because gameplay... The convoy, Connor? No. Don't think that I will. Perhaps if you, you know, were good, I would care. Let's see. Oh, and I think it actually is up here. Interesting. And what are you? It's the artifact? Is it? No. It's a bracelet. Like, the other things are kind of obvious. Well, let's see. What? Desmond? What? Desmond's death. So... Is that what this actually is? The genetic memories, f like, getting fried by precursor technology to the point that it spawned, like, an alternate timeline? And why the fuck is it out in the middle of the ocean? Is it not already enough that you torture me with your existence game? Or, like, is this, a, is this how, like, 
the fantastical elements get added into the future games, like, through a mixture of the precursor technology and, like, Desmond's fried genetic memories, it created, like, I don't know, a temporal genetic paradox that let fantasy meld into reality. I don't know. I know that, like, Minotaurs, Atlantis, and, like, straight-up gods exist later. I think that Assassin's Creed Origins had a crossover with Final Fantasy XV, and you fought, like, Arden? I don't know. Was that an event? Can you even do that anymore? I don't know. If you can't do that anymore, I will be severely disappointed, because... As much as I am conflicted on Final Fantasy XV, compared to this, it's a glorious masterpiece. <laughs> compared to this, all I have is nitpicks when it comes to Final Fantasy XV. I might have to stream it again sometime. But then comes the part where my brain is like, oh, buy the PC version. So that's like better performance. Rather than going back to the PlayStation 4 version. But it's just like, at the same time, I still have the PlayStation 4 version. And that requires spending money to get a new version. And that's fiscally irresponsible. So I'm probably not gonna do that. Yeah, little annoying that they're just like, put it on a random boat that's light years away. The hidden crossover of Starfield. They put in a million years ago. Will you climb, Connor? Connor, will you climb? This is why I have issue telling where I can't and can't climb in this game. Things that are obviously jutting out and could be handholds. Game says no. Because this was made by King K. Rule and he wants you to suffer. We shall circumnavigate the world. Connor, your future past self almost killed you. Where did you get it? It was taken from a captured officer of Yorktown. There was something compelling. How about did a Yorktown it, officer so have it? Person. It's strange. For I cannot remember that officer's face. Yeah, I see it. You are not thinking clearly. You're right. It is the dreams. The dreams that come from this apple. And that's how this all happened. So, technically now Connor should know that none of this is real. So, like... Is this the... I guess that explains why Washington shows up in the Animus sequences. Because... Then... This is kind of like a mixture of like what Connor wants and what Washington wants, but conflicting, contrasting, clashing, and being perverted. So like, Connor wished that he had the strength, like, on some level, Connor wished that he stayed with his, with his tribe, wished that his mother stayed alive... Washington wished for, like, true freedom and, like, prosperity, but the apple is, like, corrupting those ones. And as they clash, and what the fuck are they doing? Why were they on a boat and just running about? The blue coats are fucking weird. Still no idea why Connor is dreaming up stereotypical Native American stereotypes. Well, that's just redundant stereotypical stereotypes. Oh, the blue coats killed the civilian. I'm sure there won't be a million of those. Besides, we know that this is like a false memory. Still no idea. 
Like, maybe if I had that first, like, episode's memory thing, I would have more, like, context as to what began everything. But it's just like... How does, like, Connor in the false timeline memories see Desmond's death? I wish that I could crouch normally. You see nothing. No idea where they're getting such huge rocks from. <laughs> A pyramid with cannon emplacements. Oh, that's glorious. Hello, Benjamin. Did you find Jefferson or is he dead too? What about Lafayette? Thank oh. God you're here. The rebels saw their chance when we drew Washington to the docks. And they're attacking the pyramid. Their escape is cut off. They will be cut to ribbons. I must get down there. How will you get down there? Ah, uh, we will go there the bird way. We will fly. Bear! Oh, that kills both of them. Oh, well. Ah, eh, friendly fire, you know. Sometimes it's cannons, sometimes it's bears. But this would kill Jefferson. Bear. How insane do you have to be to charge after a guy who just... That guy's just walking. Another guy was just walking. It, it, the game is attacking me before I even get into the game. Glucose firing from above. Take them out. Oh, game! That's bullshit. He survived. I'm being shot at when I'm supposed to kill this guy, but the game's being mean about it. That was- why are they focusing on me with guns that they couldn't even shoot me from? That's stupid! What the fuck? What the hell was that? I used the bear power, they're like, Oh, but you didn't get your dip, 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 dip. dipshit game. G game? Control? Hey, motherfucker, do as I fucking say, you cunt. Oh, so it was those guys, I guess, maybe. I don't believe you, really. The guys on the ground are shooting me. And that's bullshit. They do not need to be shooting at me. How do I destroy the gates? Oh, I guess I just uh, use the bear mite. Cut off their reinforcements. Destroy the gates. 
I'm doing as you command, my dude. They're just shooting me, which takes away my power. They just keep coming. Bring down those gates. What do you think I'm doing, Jefferson? <laughs> Random cutscene. He has an eagle crown. What is this disturbance? Your Highness, some of the There's people a bear. are attacking the pyramid. People attacking. I am the people. Yes, my liege. <laughs> I am the people. This has to say it twice. <laughs> to the cause of freedom, do they not see? No. <laughs> An eagle throne. They defeated the English. They gave them liberty. Me! Yet still they rebel. This is madness. You are our beacon, your highness. Flatters himself. Oh, it's good. He flatters you bad. Washington really is mad. Be gone! <laughs> that one guy went flying. Oh, I love it. No, you don't. Clear shot this. Disarm you because game is mean. Go through an obnoxiously long combo sequence. At the end of this, there will only be me and Jefferson and this one red coat. That's hilarious because I killed everybody else. Oh. I uh, guess destroy gateway. Okay. How does this keep happening, <laughs> Connor? You keep ending up horribly winded. You saved my men. We must all scatter and disappear into the city. Who are you? Raduna Gaydon. A pleasure, sir. We will meet later and plan our next move. <laughs> the episode kind of begins with us assaulting the final place so that we can escape, so we can plan and assault the final place better next time. Brutal. Leave that man alone. I would like to attack this guy, but the game is stupid. Ah, we still we have to get away. I know how to get away. Never mind, there's a bunch of guys up here. Bullshit. Why do the musket men, like, fire and reload faster than I ever could? It's not even a finished pyramid and he's already living in it. being a cunt again. I hate that the guards just like auto lock and can shoot no matter what. It's so stupid. I don't I don't even know if it was the 
soldiers or the ground at this point. Because fall damage is highly inconsistent. It's just so stupid. This game is so fucking stupid when it comes to the fucking guards. I hate it. Use Eagle Flight to escape. You literally can't do that in this game. Like, it is a literal impossibility. You try and do it, the game basically punishes you. I was in my ability to disappear. And then the game is just like, we're gonna take you out of your stealth ability. So basically confirming that you also cannot escape with the wolf power either. Because this game is just... It makes Dead by Daylight look competently coded. That is what this game is. Oh no, the captives, they've been taken away. Oh no. Well, if they wanted to be saved, they should have been in a better game. Don't mind me, just randomly killing guys. To get a modicum of fun out of this game. In the moment that they're aware. So it seems like some level of bumping into characters takes you out of stealth mode. Which makes sense if you're like stealthing around. It's extra annoying when you're like actively trying to kill people. And the game just goes, hmm, I don't think so. Help the starving civilian. No, I don't think that I will. Again, I hate that these guys just automatically are aware of you. They were looking the other way yet when I did the deed. They just automatically decide, nah, we're gonna come kill you now. I wish that they would fuck off and let me heal. There we go. But yeah, it's just like... I don't know, they just keep making the game unfun when they add fun things. With just way too many guards that have way too much amped up awareness. I've done lots of murder. What shall we murder today, Thomas? Well, sir, I have never seen anything like what you did back there. A resourceful man like yourself could easily help the people. My goal is to take Washington down. The rest is none of my concern. We'll never defeat Washington without the people of New York behind us. And what do they want? Well, they're starving. We will win their support if we feed them. And how will we get the food? However, all the food is controlled by John Fitzwilliams. He is the most corrupt official in a city filled with corruption. Even more corrupt Great. than Washington? And I will track him to his stores of food. You'd think that stores of food would be, like, easily known where they are. And what's that? What is that? I can't even tell. Hello, NPC. There's Fitzwilliams. You won't find a worse bloodsucker this side of the Atlantic. He sells the food at inflated prices and skims the extra for himself. I do not care about. He, he's just a generic mercenary man. Getting people something to eat. Eventually, he'll lead me to his horde. He doesn't look any different than just normal mercenary men.
I'll just tail this guy from the rooftops. It'll probably be easier. Kind of interesting. I am down with the sickness. So I guess, like, the two ways of doing this is s fly across the rooftops or, like, wolf from... Like, I don't even think you'd be able to wolf all the way to that hay bale from where we began. Oh, no, there's a few others. Still would be very difficult to, like, go from one to one, I think. Now, that distance from that one to that one's much better. He doesn't care. That's kind of a hilarious way of putting that. <laughs> Shove off. If you were a real man, you'd <laughs> commit crime. What the fuck? Get Why did the guard do that? Why did the guard go, I'm going to climb here now? I feel like that was done specifically to fuck with me. Oh, because the game is being mean and won't let me kill this guy. Also, didn't have the, uh, is on building man marker. Which is bad design, if you ask me. What the fuck did he just shoot a guy? Why couldn't we just kidnap him and, like, beat him up? Take the stores for our own. I have to be careful because I don't know where the where the guards are and if they'll just insta lock AI me and fail me. I'm honestly surprised he didn't shoot her. The only reason that this tailing mission is fun is because I can become a bird. This DLC is horrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like... Because there's a lot of cool stuff. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff about it. The animal powers. Stereotype though they are. Like, they're cool. But there's... J the guard... A like, the, ba the problem of... The baseline issues with the stealth and combat get exacerbated with just how aggressive and how many the guards are. It's just like, if they just kept it baseline, I think it would have been fine. Not the greatest. But it's just like, the difficulty spike definitely makes it a big ol' issue. See, I want to fly up there. I don't even think I locked onto that, but sure. I need to kill him without being detected. And then steal the cart. Hmm. Wish I could lock onto him. Fly through the roof. Die. Now I'll just probably gather up all the guards and stomp them with the bear power. Prerequisite stomp. Again, you'd think that more of these guys would go, oh shit, a bear man, and just run away. Traitor dog, die. It was made by Ubisoft Quebec, the same guys who did Syndicate and Odyssey. But so there's your explanation for why it's bad. Huh. Interesting, because I've never, like, heard that much of, like, Syndicate being bad. But then again, I guess Unity was the big one. And I haven't heard much about Odyssey as well. 
Oh, it's the man. You. Yes, you. I, I wasn't doing nothing. Thomas Poor man. Jefferson needs someone to get this cart of food to hungry people. To sell it? Give it. Free food for hungry folks. <laughs> Your man, friend. Get some friends. Unity was broken. Was Syndicate was bad guys. as fuck. That's sad. Double <laughs> air assassination. And do not let the cart's HP dip below. We'll have to see. The bonus objectives are meaningless anyway, somewhere. We just ran over a guy. Granted, he was already dead, but still. Right there. Blue coats. And there we go. Up there. Die. I do like these abilities, though. Like, the potential for this to be good is there. It's just the execution on a mini things is just less than stellar. People say Syndicate is good now because we only got worse games since. Yeah, that tracks. It'll be interesting to see, like, uh, the experience the game for myself. Cause, oh, and the, just the, <laughs> the, the shadows decided, uh, to have a seizure today. But yeah, I do intend to, like, give at least the mainline games a shot, so. It'll be interesting to give Syndicate and Unity my own opinion. Granted, the main issue with... Unity was like it's terrible. Let me kill these guys first. I like. Yeah, I guess. Put on the gun. Die. A wrong thing. I still fly at you, and kill you. I'll put on the gun. Oh, dang it. Uh, I guess that's not what the game wants. I'm not sure what the game wants. Maybe I need to... light them. Let's see. Uh, no, maybe I need to shoot them while I'm nearby. Maybe I need to... Oh, it's the, it's one of those <laughs> silly ones of like, ah, you need to select the right one to blow up the whole thing. Gotcha. But yeah, basically, when it comes to games for me, so long as the stealth and combat of Syndicate are fine enough, I'll probably like them. The main issue usually comes when the base gameplay is annoying bad or a slog. Make it out alive, but God damn, it's the most fun I've had all week. Thomas Jefferson, people! This here food is thanks to Mr. Thomas Jefferson! Thomas Jefferson! <laughs> Just a few carrots, and he has won their loyalty. They're quite desperate. Also, I swear that Warren's voice actor changed from the Homestead missions to that. Then again, I didn't hear him talk all that much, but it didn't seem all that familiar to me. Did that guy just say if you rat out one of your neighbors to being a traitor, you'll get a piece of bread? That's hilarious. Wrong thing. And I'm going the wrong way. But at least my feelings were correct that, like, this DLC felt... Oddly different compared to the main game. Kind of like how I called out 
like memory sequence 13 of Assassin's Creed 2 feeling like it had to have been made by like some kind of B team. It just feels too different. <laughs> too different. What now, Jefferson what Tommy? My friend Paul Revere disappeared three days ago. This soldier just confirmed the disappearance of his wife and son as well. Oof. I am sorry. That reminds me, I don't think we ever did <laughs> I don't think we ever did find Paul Revere in the main game. He was endeavoring to loosen the blue coat grip on the city. Neighborhood by neighborhood, he was winning the people's trust and support. I will take up Revere's work to help rally the city. If the citizens fight for us, we will replace Washington with a new leader. This country must be led by the people. You still need, like, a head. Or is that, like, or is that meant to foreshadow that, like, create by completing tasks about the city? So, like, is that meant to, like, symbolize that, like, uh, the boy? What am I supposed to use? Use a rope dart to hang a guy? I hate the... I hate this game. It's been a bit since I... Oh, you're no fun game. The guards are just so annoying in this DLC. Do this thing! We're gonna make it impossible to do the thing! And now they're all gonna find you. Ho ho! Because that is peak gameplay in this game. You're just w way too just aware. Huh? Connor, you could have just jumped to that building instead of the ground, but sure. And gets rid of the, the guards off me, so... That's probably faster, all things considered. Die already. I hate guard enemies that are just like, er, nothing. And why are there. F he was the only one that was involved, and then another guy is just like, but I saw. I am Cassandra, but everyone will believe me. But if I go out there, all of them will target me. Game design. Let's see, I'll just. Go through the window, I guess. And now I'm a free man. Hang a guy by that, but we're gonna put a bunch of guards that instantly notice you by that. Game design. Maybe I should just try and do another one. But I want to hang a guy up there. It's been a bit since I've actually done it, though. So let's see how long it takes enemies to realize. Get hung. <laughs> so when I do the mission quickly, they forget about me. And what do I need to do here? Oh, so I need to hang multiple guys. Such glory. Uh, I guess I just need to bear smash this. Bear smash that. I would like to fly up there, please. All this is, is Hanging Simulator and Statue Destroying Simulator. The one time that I just lack a guard to kill. Did they all go to check out the statue? Probably. I 
I wonder if I even need the rope dart selected. Yeah, it looks like it. And there's just no guards. Oh, uh, there's a patrol. Turn this way. Turn this way. Damn you. I see guards moving on the mini-map. Maybe they're guys coming back to their patrol route down here. So I can hang them for civil unrest. You know, hanging people from a public plaza is kind of a... a evil person thing to do. Again, I love the fact that I just... You hang a guy, the guards just let you go. Tell the truth, damn it. Oh. <laughs> Why not kill them? That sends a message as well. Especially in this DLC where equipping my fists takes effort. Because I have three abilities and then I need to go back to my hidden blade. Let's destroy cannons. Ah, we'll go down there, destroy... Oh, it's an orator, so that one we'll have to beat up. He looks very much like the statue icon, if you ask me. Let's see. Uh, where's fists? Wrong side. It's been a bit since I actually... Again, I kill a guy isolated. The game's like whatever our humble circumstances, we share in the glory of our king. Game, let me move. <laughs> it's like Back off. Your ancestor did not kill ba ba ba. They were in the way. If they didn't want to be killed, run away from the bear. Again, I swear, they just spawn a billion guards. I just want to beat up an orator. They give you an AoE ability, and they're like, how dare you use the AoE ability? Rude, you're gonna shoot me. That orator was ready. He was ready to defend himself. It's like he knew. He was aware of what was going to happen. Somebody's going to come and beat me up one of these days. I know it. You try to run? No, you don't. When you kill a blue coat officer, the matrix resets. Yeah, it's just, it's baffling how just aggressive the detection is on the AI. When it just didn't feel like that in any of the other Assassin's Creeds. It's hard to tell how aggressive the other Assassin's Creeds felt like. And uh, how aggressive everything is. Primarily because when it's done, good. Connor, why do you keep avoiding jumping to things that will save your life and instead go down to the death? Quite a crowd we've drawn. There's at least five guys here. They're going there like it's a like a museum. Washington is giving a speech. Oh, is, is the the pyramid is completed? I guess. That's why the Illuminati eye is kind of just a box.
That is a big crowd of duplicated citizens. Citizens of the United States. I come before you, a humble man. You're wearing a crown. As I look out upon this vast land, I see each of you suffering. Yes, suffering. And suffer still, more, more of you a should. Better life, a better future. A better America. Each one of you. Sacrificing, slaving for this great country, for freedom. And I humbly say to you, your sacrifices inspire me. They shall not be in vain. I shall sacrifice more of you to keep productivity up. This life is difficult. The ravages of war, food shortages, crime. The burdens caused by Jefferson's seditious murderers. But we, we have a greater purpose that will unite us and lift us above these trifling troubles. For us, the obliteration of these rebels will be but a foretaste of the feast to come. What, are you going to try and take over the world? Citizens. As I stand here, I feel the four million hearts of our nation beating within my breast. Today, I announce the great project of this nation. <laughs> What's that gonna be? We are mastering vast armies. We are fashioning powerful armadas. I took out, like, half your armada on my way here. Great dark enemy, England! We shall invade her shores. And irrigate her fields with blood. English bones shall provide grist for our mills, and her people shall become our slaves. Each of you <laughs> shall profit for freedom. Sacrifice. We shall take other people as slaves. Our nation shall rise it's like classical America taken to an extreme, all, more than it already was. Kingdom, the United States of America. Like, technically, if we wanted to go even further with this, it wouldn't even be the United States of America, because, like, if I remember correctly, the whole thing was supposed to be, like, individual states that could, like, control their own destiny, but, like, work together. Oh, we, we have to go back and do even more public unrest. Yeah, because it was, if I remember correctly, through my vague memories, that's kind of what it was supposed to be. Because they were meant to be actual states in their own right, in the classical European sense, and not just, like, glorified provinces. Which they've become. Once again, a hanging spot without anybody to hang. Oh, it... Darn it. I was going to come here to murder people, yet I couldn't, because other people have already killed them. Well, at least you know that the civil unrest is going well. The citizens of America praise the enlightened leadership of King Washington. He has brought this nation to great heights. He will take us to greater heights. I can't even use the ability because civilians are here. I stabbed that guy in the skull like four times. He just refused to die. The citizens of America praise the enlightened... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Leadership of King Washington. He has brought... Tell the truth. Dang it. My unbridled rage killed him. What a pity. I'm gonna do... I'm going to assume I just, uh... Hulk smash these. Hulk smash indeed. I fly at you. Fear my power. What's the walking one? Escort rebel leader. Don't think I'll do that. 
I already have to do enough tailing missions. I don't want to do escort missions too. Imagine if I could just, like, summon a pack of bears instead. Get out of the way, civilians! Warning, your ancestor did not kill civilians. Yeah, and I didn't either. They were traitors. There's a difference between traitors and civilians. You know that game. I find it funny that we, like, basically kill the orators anyway. Like, what if we leave? How did you even see me? You're, uh, why do you exist as a bitch? Just this random cunt. The detection on that. He was over here. <laughs> He maybe saw, like, a, like if that's just, like, part of the roof and he could, like, see through because it's, like, an over archway or whatever. And he, like, saw me like that. That's, like, a split-second thing even then. And it's just mad. The, the game is just, like, he sees. The truth, damn it. Get comboed, idiot. <laughs> that's just insane. <laughs> you see a guy turn into an eagle. He flies up to you and chokes you out because you're blind. Like, how am I even supposed to hang a guy? Again, the civilians are doing the job for me. I guess I'll go kill another guy. That's like, you'd think that they would just have a perpetually spawning guard regiment there that won't, like, get lured away by civilians at high unrest. So that you could actually hang them. I love when the dedicated, hey, do this to progress the story, mini mission, of which there are many... And one of them is basically impossible to do. You saw me. Too late, idiot. <laughs> I am the first heat-seeking guided missile. I like to think that me just killing that guy makes the civilians go, WE CAN DO THAT TOO! Just immediately runs off to start killing some blue coats. Again, as horrible as this DLC is like, uh, as its difficulty, I would say, is handled, the concepts are cool! It's the difficulty that's the issue for me that gets in the way of you actually using the powers and doing things. Just too aggressive detection, annoying combat. And also, too many guards! Far too many guards. Unlike the King of England, we can kill this guy. He's on our shore. I find it amusing that the camera's whipping all about there. We'll have to wait until everything settles so we can actually move on. I do find it funny that like halfway through the mission we had to pause so that Washington could give a monologue speech. Hello, Jeffy. What must do now? All parts of the city are ready to rise up. At last we will bring down Washington. I trusted him absolutely when we fought the British. Strange that these few years later I would risk everything to bring him down. 
It is a magical artifact. Has everything been prepared for my signal? I have a man at the military district now. He'll know where the weaknesses are to be found. We will signal the beginning of the revolution and destroy their gunpowder all at one time. Again, I find it funny that only a few people take note of my animal superpowers. And only Jefferson was just like, hey, we can use this. That bear man. We could use him for war. Get out of here. Get stabbed, idiot. Hang it, game. Will you stop being annoying? I double killed. Somehow I double killed. And more guards just keep coming in. At least they gave me a double kill as well. But an actual one this time. Unless that guy wants to come in and play the game. Become anonymous, because I guess I have to kill this guy. Guess we have to kill this guy, Connor. Damn. There's no guys here. Nobody's looking for me. Oh, that dickhead's looking for me. He wasn't even a part of the fight. This system is so fucking stupid. Return in the area. I couldn't. A dickhead was watching me. God, this design is so stupid. Couldn't have gotten here a bit sooner. We must hurry to set off the explosion. Yes, well, there's no easy way to get to the gunpowder. By my way of thinking, the best plan is to set that tower over there on fire, then topple it onto the depot. I will Impressive. set the tower on fire. You set up those powder kegs at its base. I do like that they're bringing in homestead people for bit parts in this, even if Big Dave was kind of a dick. Oh, yes, uh, Benjamin Franklin gave this to me. It was very important, but... Money! Why do they just instantly know? What fun. Did an alien make this this game? Worse. As we just learned today, it was Quebec. I hate that the guards just, like, instantly know and are just, like, super aware. It's just a bothersome system to do. And then it takes them five billion years to fuck off. It's just bothersome. Why do you know, you cunt of a game? It's just bothersome, dude. Leave me alone. Why is one guy instantly see? Hmm, how do I even get, climb this? Oh, fuck off, you cunt. Why were you here? Just let me do my power shit. There we go, maybe. I need to go to the further one, I guess. There we go. Hello? That guy... <laughs> the guy on the ground discovered me faster than that guy, and I was a million times closer. Yes, we must whistle at the fire.
Warning, stay in the area. I guess the UI. Die. Again, it's just so bothersome how some guards see you instantly and beeline it towards you, while other guards are normal. Powder's in place. Um, don't mind me, I'm just, uh... Here to do a thing. Goodbye. Oh, I guess it's not over. We must use bear might. <laughs> Get apocalypsed, bitch. I do find it kind of funny, though, that Bear Might is mostly just a... Like, <laughs> Bear Might is mostly just a contextual button press at this point for objectives. I swear, some of the red coats, the ones, the agility guys, they look <laughs> like <laughs> revolutionary sometimes. At a glance. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm allergic to bullshit. And yeah, it's just, it's so annoying that the stay in the area is just baked in now, eternally. Because for some reason, like, I swear that wasn't even a thing that really happened. In like the ma the base game, is the hiding while in conflict thing baked into? Okay, good, it's gone. I was gonna be so enraged. I hate that the only way to get rid of it, it seems, is to restart from checkpoint. He went from barehanded to axe. And immediately went into uh, super unkillable mode. Uh. Alright, we'll go to the other one. Weird that it's like that and didn't go away, but sure. Hey, Jefferson. Okay. <laughs> well, no, that's the warning. Stay in area. Thing's gonna come back. I just know it. It's there to haunt me forever. Unless I restart or die. Our plan is working, my friend. Washington's troops are scattered. The palace is unguarded. This will help you along. The mechanism's rather tricky, but I'm sure you'll be able to unravel it. So it is the m special medal from the horseshoe. I have succeeded. You'd think that the palace of the Grand Hypnotic Emperor King Washington would be, like, more guarded. Leave that guard alone! He is a good man! Yep, stay in the area, still there. So I should probably restart from checkpoint to get rid of it. How... How fast... Why is it so baked in? Nightmares forever for the technicians and engineers and coders who somehow missed that. Or more likely, somehow caused it! Because it wasn't in the base game! You gremlins! 
You satanic motherfuckers. These doors were forced open. Mark of violence. Forced open, you say. <laughs> That's kind of an amusing way to put it. Marks of violence. Well, I guess we need to climb. 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 But I wonder what that even means. They were forced open. Let's see what's on this pillar. Shots. What target was up here? Yeah. Was this when your mother, when Connor's mother, came in here to try and steal the scepter? Dude was <laughs> reinventing hieroglyphics. Okay, that's kind of odd. Hmm. Oh, it, oh no, I was right. Ish. <laughs> he barely... Man, he's the best worst shot in the world. And we've already killed that guy. So that flashback is kind of meaningless. Mother, you failed to stop Washington, but maybe I can follow you to him. But the thing is, like, how is this loose if they put it in after? Oh, bear power, yeah. Rah! Um, ah, that's why. How did she get across? No, no, but seriously, how did she get across? She didn't drink the tea. She remained stereotype free. Darn you. Am I gonna have to fight a horde of super soldiers? Does that sound like a someone to you? You're right, but still. I would like to do the... Uh... Like, it feels like the game wants me to do the, like, Flying Eagle assassination, but it's just, like, not letting me. There we go. Unless I'm meant to be stealthy about this. Like, that's entirely possible. It wanted me to use the wolf power to get through. But the wolf power hasn't been relevant in ever. <laughs> okay, that was a nice animation. Oh yeah, I forgot these guys are... are bullshit. Die! Fling or flail around, little dude. There we go! Yeah, it, it definitely felt like the game kind of... Lions. Rude. Someone broke through here. Someone broke through here. I wish I had sleeping powers. Go eat the dead body. Jerk lion. I know that the... Well, fine. Fuck off. I missed the thing here, too. It was just like... Somebody came through here. I thought that you were nice, but you're not. Teeth marks on this. Yeah, because, like, which kind of teeth marks? Human teeth marks or animal teeth marks? We just killed one. 
So I wonder what you mean. Eh, ah, screw it. Also, this is a terrible zoo. Dried blood. Too much for a human. What does that even mean? Yeah, she came through. Did she throw a guard in here to get eaten? But I wonder what the... Too much blood to be human. Oh. I don't... Well, I guess the blood would then pour out of the body from that. So you mean that I had to retrack her entire way even though we began? At the proper place. My question is, how are you even supposed to do that without killing the animals? Probably with the wolf power, again, that I'm neglecting. Because the bonus objectives are just terrible. Seriously, like, what's the point of bonus objectives if they don't actually do anything? I guess it could be like, ah, this is a literal bonus objective for you to try and aim for, but not be mandatory. I don't know. Once again, this feels like entirely impossible for Connor's mother to have accomplished. It's like one person had like really cool ideas. It's like, what if we gave Connor animal powers? And then everybody else was just... Not good. <laughs> what, am I gonna throw this brick on top of him? Oh no, he just, uh, bear power. Rude! Extra rude, because you're like the only guy left. All the stab wounds, that won't kill him. It's the wall that kills him. A line that... Like, they gave me a split second to look at the fucking thing. I feel like I haven't... There we go. They gave me a split second, it felt like, to look up and that made it feel important like oh I need to align it like the big orb door but I guess not I don't know still a better uh, puzzle than some of the subject 16 puzzles from 2 but low bar at last the throne of America will belong to a native I feel like that's just... Again, how could Washington have made all this in only a few years? Like... It just seems crazy. Sure, like, I think... Didn't it take, like, super, super many decades? Centuries, even? For, like, the actual pyramids to be made? And you decided not to stab King Emperor. <laughs> or use the, the scepter to kill him. Mother, it is time I finished what you began. 
by not killing Washington? Because that's what she began, really. I guess my question is, why would she want to go and, like, try and steal the scepter from Washington? Because... Maybe because Haytham was, like, more involved in this timeline because Washington was going mad? So when Haytham died, she figured that Washington was too big a threat to let live and knew that he would eventually come for them and then the whole, oh, your mother brought Washington's wrath down upon us because of her actions is more of just like, yes, but not really. Although with all the shaking that's going on, I guess we could just assume that this is a shitty pyramid. That is always a possibility. What are we even trying to accomplish here? We just crossed the street. Don't know why it was making me look down there for a long time. Is it supposed to be like the floor is actually a map? Kind of does look like a map. Like, I doubt I'm going to find Washington up here. You can... Yes, please. <laughs> uh, ah. What is this, a secret room? This feels like a lot of tunnels in the walls. Why would you want <laughs> tunnels like this in the walls above your throne room? Then again, why would you want a throne room that big? We're going to fight King Washington on top of the flat pyramid. And we're going to have to use all our animal powers to do it, huh? And then what, is Mother going to come back to life and be like, now I shall rule America. It wasn't about the tea, it was about the scepter. God, if the gameplay was better for this DLC, this would be an epic showdown. It is you at last. Commander Washington, if you give up the apple, I will let you live. Give up the apple. It controls you. Is that what you believe? I believe I control it. Although I never considered the possibility that it could control someone. <laughs> I think is that sarcasm? I think it's supposed to be sarcasm, considering that that's basically what's been happening this entire time. That he's been influencing people closest to him to be fanatical and brutal. Perhaps he can. You have been corrupted by the apple's power. Corrupted. Well, that raises an interesting question. You wish me to give up the apple in order to save my soul? Or do you wish to the apple save the land so you can control the nation? The true rulers are the people. Let's not deceive ourselves. It's an absurd thought, but let's suppose that I were beholden to this apple. How would you behave differently? I would use it for the good of everyone. That's what they all say. Well, the possession of the apple is both a burden and a blessing. Tell me, when you shake the earth, do you feel that you are a slave to the people? Or do you wish to be their master? The people want you brought down. But you didn't answer the question. <laughs> I am the only king here! He is kind of raising a point that we did use Eldritch powers. Hmm. Dang it. I am the cleverest trick. Away with you. 
Oh, wrong one. I punch you! I punch you hard! Dang it! Oh, am I supposed to instead... Sneak now? I do like that this is basically like the first actual... boss fight, even if it's a puzzle boss. Well, obstacle course boss, I suppose. Oh, what the hell? I don't know, I guess I was too close to the ground still as a bird. <laughs> He's just taking those punches like a champ. Oh, this is stained glass. Well, that's not what I wanted at all. I, su I selected this. Oh, he's created Orange King clones of himself. Oh, damn it. So I have to worry about his clones and him. I, I, I do like the music that's playing. Fall, Washington. Who's gonna grab it? <laughs> I rammed him with the power of bird. And yeah, Washington's fuck. Oh, how are you not dead? That was multiple stories onto cold hard ground. Ah, it's because you stumbled back onto your throne. Is his spirit going to utilize it against me in a last chance? Is this going to mirror Altair being unable to... I died trying to bring down Washington. And I plead with you, do not pursue the apple. Like, what are we supposed to do with the apple? I don't understand that part. Because, uh, like, nothing, like, the problem is, they're probably going to be like, oh, the power of the tea has kind of corrupted Connor in the same way that the apple corrupted Washington. But aside from one single line of Connor going, after we bring down Washington, we'll place somebody else to rule... Of which Jefferson then said, no, the people should rule. That's like the only, like, foreshadowing we got. <laughs> oh, it's me. Connor, Connor. Now's your chance. Take the apple. Take it. Take it. So that was all a vision granted to them, like, holy shit, we did all that? We're back in the timeline? Commander. We need to get rid of that. Take it. Take it from me, I do not want it. Good job, Washington. No man should possess a power so absolute. Sink it into the sea. Weight it. And sink it to the bottommost reaches of the ocean. Will he actually do it, though? The ending kind of... Or the ending there kind of implied that he's tempted by the apple. 
Ah, so we took it out to far, far off sea. Kind of disappointing that we didn't get a full resolution to that King Washington timeline. Commander Washington. Mysterious man. I thought I was alone. I'm sorry to interrupt. That's quite all right. Who are you, mysterious man? Things appear to be at a stalemate. I'm afraid so. Might I suggest, Commander, that a republic cannot survive in a world with so many contending powers? Beg your pardon. Elected bodies, to be sure. The war was fought for this. For this nation to prosper. For this Is Washington going to become a Templar? The weakness of a republic must be balanced by a powerful man at its center. A powerful man, commander, who, if, if I may be so bold. Oh, is this the beginning of that timeline? The of the world. If he were given the title of king. This guy was meant to be the one to push yeah. Washington to be King Washington. Ah. I believe I can answer you in complete candor. Your proposal raises the greatest mischief that could befall my country. You could not have found a person to whom your schemes are more disagreeable. Let me conjure you then. If you have any regard for your country, concern for yourself or posterity... Or respect for me. To banish these thoughts from your mind. Never communicate as from yourself or anyone else a sentiment of the like nature. Oh. It was the phantom of... Hmm. The last phantom of the you apple. You want to go back? Yes. Back. I like that. Take us back. That's kind of why he deluded himself in that previous timeline vision. To be like, I did this for the people, this was good. And that was kind of him banishing it from his own mind. Again, kind of disappointing that we didn't get full resolution for the false timeline. Again, it, it kind of falls into the issue with the framing device. Where we kind of know that it's going to go back to the normal thing. Like, obviously, this is a what-if. Obviously, this isn't actually an event that will be carried over at all. It is a contained thing to tell the what-if King Wash- What if Washington got deluded with power by one of the artifacts like the Apple and went on to name himself King? That ending cinematic was nice. It's just so sad that the rest of it was kind of meh. Again, it feels like the game should have been more linear. Because the open world aspect to, like, running around and doing things, aside from, like, the memory bits... Like, the lucid memories that gave you the framing device for the whole thing. But, like, the moment that you see Washington pull out the apple, you know that it's just like, oh, <laughs> this is a, a fake thing. Then again, the mere fact that Connor is just like, hmm, I basically traveled through time and space to a different dimension, basically. A different timeline. You know something weird is going on. Also weird that, like... That final lucid memory was of Desmond dying, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> which means that canonically, Washington and Connor saw that same thing. The same, well, not the same thing, but like, they experienced the same vision of that potential, like, future. Of what would have happened if Washington got seduced by the power of the apple. So, technically, Connor is the only one out of the original assassins that were 
genetic memory from Desmond to actually see Desmond. If that is, like, a canonical thing. But it's just like... Considering that synchronization is meant to be, like, you going into the genetic memories and literally synchronizing with your ancestor, and those are part of the synchronization percentage, I would assume that it's canon. I assume, unless they just decide to throw out the concept of synchronization percentages. But, again... It's just really brought down because the detection in stealth is way too aggressive. The guards, there are far too many. And it just compounds the base issues of the main game. In which stealth was already kind of bad. And combat was also already kind of bad. Because the counter system is just brought down by the fact that it seems like rock, paper, scissors, except... Disarm is Spock. Some enemies can be thrown around. Some enemies can be counter-killed. All enemies can be disarmed. So you might as well disarm and then beat them to death. And killing enemies takes forever. Because you have to do a super combo on them. Stab them in the head. Stab them in the gut. Stab them in the head. Stab them in the gut. And then after five repetitions of that, they're finally dead. They got rid of enemy health bars for some reason. They basically got rid of your health bar for some reason, in which they finally made the health bar, like, mean something in this DLC. And I will say that that was probably the best episode, but that's not saying much. The missions were the least terrible, and getting the lucid memories was the least terrible. But, like, if you try to do everything, like all the stupid convoy attacks and save that civilian, feed that civilian things, god, this would probably be terrible, But especially in the uh, episodes 2 and 3, because you're in a city. At least in episode 1, you're out in the frontiers, so you're just able to randomly find people being attacked by wolves and hiding in a cave, so you can easily mark those off. But once you get into the city, you're going to have to fight guards. And fighting guards mean you're going to have to fight all of the guards. Because all of the guards will come down upon you like a hive mind. Which I guess you could be like, Oh, well, the power of the apple connects them and heightens their senses. It's like, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. It's just annoying. Again... It's just disappointing because they were cool ideas. The The... The eagle traversal is cool. The stealth wolfing is cool. The bear for combat and, like, contextual path progression, that's also cool. But the fact is that there isn't really much to do with them. Like, the level design, aside from the pyramid, isn't, like, designed all that much for the abilities outside of, like, certain moments where they obviously put like hay bales and for you to stealth through with the wolf power and again it's just disappointing because it also felt like the stealth power wasn't that good because you would accidentally graze somebody and be brought out at random and at times you wouldn't like, it would be one thing if you got shoved, if somebody ran into you and Connor, like, stumbled and you got knocked out of your stealth. That makes contextual, like, feedback sense. But when you just, like, oh, you bumped into this civilian in a basic way, uh, you're out of stealth. Oh, you bumped into this enemy that you want to stealth kill while you're in stealth mode? Ah, you're out of stealth mode. And factor, factor in the very aggressive detection, it just doesn't make it fun. Again, there was that one guy who at most saw me for a split second, and I, I'm fairly certain that he couldn't even see me. He just decided to know me. Which then brings me to, like, my overall thoughts of the game. The main story of the main game kind of sucks. Because all it is is, Haytham, go here and find Cave. And he does. And uh, then you take over as Connor, and then it's mostly just go kill people. 
but then, like, because I kind of forgot that they were looking for the artifact for the most part. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Like, even in Brotherhood, I remembered that, like, oh, we were using Ezio's memories to look for another Apple of Eden. And, but in this one, I just completely forgot that we were looking for that little trinket artifact to bring down the barrier wall. And again, every single person in this game just dies an ignoble death. Like Connor's mother, Haytham, Achilles. Connor's mother again. Connor's, like, uh, childhood best friend. Like, especially in the main game plotline, where he betrays Connor because he trusts Charles Lee for some reason over Connor. I do kind of like the theme of, like, Connor, like, uh, the theme that they were going for for the main game of, like, they're fighting for freedom and liberty, but for who? And it does kind of end in tragedy where, despite what Connor did, his tribe is still shoved off their land. And despite everything, like, it, it's kind of sad because there could be a, like, a silver lining to the story if you do the homestead stuff, but that isn't really acknowledged in the main story. And again, there's just the fact that they kill Achilles through the homestead missions. Drives me mad. But... When it comes to the main game, the gameplay is still kind of eh. The stealth is still scuffed, and I miss the Ezio trilogy way of stealth being handled. Guards are still way too aware. There's so many bugs and pathing issues and contextual button issues. And combat start it begins to feel cluttered here because, like, oh, there's the war hammer and the... You have guns. Like, they give you a million weapons, and I just never used them. I didn't hang people with the rope darts because there were... First off, wasn't that many opportunities to do so. And, like, why use anything other than the hidden blade and sword? Enemies seemed to die the same even was when I was upgrading. It didn't feel like enemies were becoming easier to kill. With the Maybe if I used different weapons, like certain enemies are weaker to certain weapons, and maybe I could counter kill some enemies with certain weapons or something. I don't know. The game didn't go into that. It just felt like a lot of stuff for stuff's sake. Oh, you can play mini games with people. Stuff for stuff's sake. Oh, you can deliver letters. Stuff for stuff's sake. You can beat up some people. Stuff for stuff's sake. They filled the frontier with stuff, but it just, again, felt stuff for stuff's sake. And then when it came to, like, the peg leg collectibles, it got annoying when, again, in the frontier... Randomly, you would stand above where the trinket is, but you'd have to search for the cave entrance or the hole, and it just became bothersome. Really, I was mostly invested in Desmond's story, and he ends up dying in this game. As does Vidic. Vidic's dead, Desmond's dead. How are they going to pick up later? Who's going to be the human protagonist in Black Flag? Will there be a human protagonist in Black Flag? What's going to go on with Juno escaping? The world is safe. At least from returning to the Dark Ages and Desmond becoming the new Jesus whose words are twisted to facilitate holy war. So, I have no idea what the actual main modern story is going to be, but at the same time, I kind of get the feeling that later on, they kind of just stop caring about the modern story. We'll have to wait and see.
We'll also have to wait and see if they change up the stealth in combat for Black Flag. Hopefully they take a step back and return to more Ezio era gameplay. Because it, I, I, it just doesn't feel nice is the issue. Changing the countering feels annoying. Fighting enemies became annoying because it's the paradox where some enemies cannot be hit with normal attacks, so you have to counter them. But then some of them can only be disarmed, so it's just like pigeonholing you and it just makes it annoying. Either that or you can just stand by and shoot them with the bow and arrow or gun. Again, the naval stuff seemed to work pretty well, especially with the DLC, funnily enough. So maybe if I did more naval stuff, I would have more good to say, but the problem is the naval stuff was in the game, if we count the DLC, like three times. It wasn't really there. They just like, here's another type of mission you can do. And I immediately looked at it and was like, I'm already annoyed by this game and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I do not want to prolong my existence in this game. And, like, the feather collect... And also, we just got over... Overbared with collectibles. Feather collectibles. Almanac collectibles. Trinket collectibles. Treasure chest collectibles. I also hated the, the forts because they just felt bad. Because, like, every other Assassin's Creed, when they're like, Hey, sneak into this place and kill some people. You could actually sneak into the place and kill some people. Whereas all the forts just felt like if you were lucky, a passing by cart would let you sneak in. Otherwise, you were screwed. There was really no active way to sneak in without being seen that didn't feel like I was exploiting the AI. Which even then failed because the AI is evil in this game. Funnily enough, if they put the Native American stereotype powers in the main game, I probably would have had more fun. <laughs> that is hilarious to me. Because, like, in the main one, it's just like, aside from the beginning vision quest, in which Connor touched the artifact and saw Juno, which I kind of mocked, it was just like, oh, the Native American vision quest, horty horror. But then they literally went on a vision quest to give Connor magical Native American wolf powers and bear powers and eagle powers. It's like they were playing Native American animal power bingo. So it's just like, it's hilarious that the stereotype powers were the most fun of the DLC, but they weren't fun to use because the DLC is bullshit. But if you transplanted the stereotype powers into the main game, that would fix so many problems. Like, the eagle power-up would let me actually stealth into the forts. The bear power-up would make fighting more fun because you'd be able to blast away, like, groups of enemies and then be able to focus on, like, specific targets. The wolf power-up would also make stealthing more interesting and potentially limit the frustration I had with some of the stealth mechanics because it makes you indetectable sometimes. I think there was a time or two there in episode 3 where it felt like I was seen through my wolf powers, which is... Eh. But it's just hilarious to me. So, yeah, the best things about this game were the modern story, the homestead story, and the stereotyped Native American animal powers from the DLC. And, and I'll say the ending to the DLC is actually pretty good. The boss fight is actually pretty good. It's simple enough to me, an experienced video gamer, that it wasn't really super challenging, but it was a nice set piece. It was a nice set piece. And is basically the... It's like the second boss fight that Assassin's Creed has ever really had that was justified. Sure, there was Borgia, but he was just a...
damage sponge. The only other boss fight in Assassin's Creed history, as far as I'm aware, up to this point in the main games, is Al Mualim from the first game, which is kind of funny to me. But I also like that they didn't just reuse Al Mualim's apple powers. Instead, Washington was kind of going video gamey with shockwaves, shields, orbs, and clones. But I still don't understand the whole thing where Connor's mother is just like, you betrayed my dying wish and used the, the used the tea. When it's just like, you do understand that the tea is literally the reason why we were able to beat Washington, right? No, like, I feel like that's just an informed attribute of the T. You saw, uh, you didn't see it, but I did. The T is evil, the after effects, blah, blah, blah. But, like, nothing really happened with Connor, except he ganged tattoos, his eyes went weird, and he ganged superpowers. That's it. And again, they literally are the reason he was able to beat Washington. So I don't understand why that was in there. And again, the ending where they were kind of implying that even Connor was being tempted by the apple. But like, there wasn't anything there to really show that he was. Sure, he said things like, I would use the apple's power for the people. And uh, the bit of, we will take Washington off and put somebody else to rule the country. And Jefferson was just like, no, the people should rule. It's like they were trying to set up at the last moment that like, ooh, even Connor was falling to its power when it kind of wasn't. S Unless, like, the T is meant to be a metaphor for the Apple powers that Connor would use. Maybe? Because Con this is... R. Connor listening in to the vision through the apple and kind of is tapping into it, I guess. Yeah, it's just... Again, Assassin's Creed 3 feels like somebody ripped off Assassin's Creed Revelations. And it definitely feels like a disrespect... To the potential that Connor had, that the story of the American Revolution had, and yeah, it's like, they did spice it up again with the stereotype Native American powers, and Charles Lee's death is the best scene in any Assassin's Creed I've played, but like, the base, like, again, there's too many things that felt like they existed purely to give the player more stuff to do without actually being substantive. Like, I still don't know if you could go down into the tunnels on your own or if that's just a random bit that shows up twice and never again in the story. The almanacs are an annoying collectible. The feathers seem like a pointless collectible. The bonus objectives are literally objectively worthless, as well as being badly designed and some of them bugged. And again, I feel like Haytham felt kind of wasted. And weird, like, there's only the one scene where Connor reveals that his mother died by the hands of the other Templars. And aside from Haytham going, Oh dear God, I didn't order that. What the fuck? That's it. It's never brought up again. And he shows no remorse. He continues to work with Charles. And what else? Again, Achilles' death being regulated to the homestead is evil. I understand it to a degree because... He needs to kind of be there for some of the, like, the homestead missions. But, like... It just feels like... 
It could have been better. I say cut away a bunch of the irrelevant stupid stuff, have the homestead stuff be a mix of optional and main story. So it's like Connor is building the community, main story. Achilles and some of the main homestead people can be a part of the main story. The Assassin Brotherhood mechanic feels tacked on compared to Revelations and even Brotherhood. Like, sure, it's nice that I can access the mission thing and send them out at any point, but the missions felt superfluous. I hardly ever used them because they felt buggy and weird and not fun. And like... Again, feels like Assassin's Creed 3 was somebody ripping off Assassin's Creed rather than an actual sequel. There's just so many random changes that feel like they're negative in impact compared to any of the others. And it's just like every single thing that this game does has been done better in previous Assassin's Creed games. I guess the most I can say is the targets were more interesting to go after than Brotherhood's targets. But like... I'm still not over the fact that we begin with Haytham and everybody we're working with is like, Oh, we're very good guys. He diddly he. And then the moment we stop playing as Haytham, the moment it's revealed that they're Templars, they immediately start doing evil shit. And I still don't understand why Haytham was like, oh yes, they used to be my brothers. But then they started to be heavy-handed and tyrannical, and that's bad. And are like, oh, a few people die for the greater good. And then immediately when we see Haytham, he's spouting the same thing, basically. He's willing to kill like as many people as he needs to get what he wants what he thinks is good and there's no explanation for it it just feels very weird well let's skip ahead because me honestly i gotta say the ending of the dlc is probably the second best thing in the game the best thing in the game is Charles Lee's death scene because it is masterfully directed. The Charles Lee death scene, best thing in Assassin's Creed ever. The ending of the Tyranny of King Washington DLC is pretty decent. Pretty decent. And I even still managed to do 74%. How much was my main game percentage? 68. One percentage away from nice. And I think we're gonna just skip Liberation. Like, I did a little bit of sleuthing, and it seems like Liberation is mostly just... It was just a Vita title, and it got remastered and ported to PC. Like, apparently people like it enough, but it just seems to be a scaled-down Assassin's Creed 3, from what I read. With, like, a disguise mechanic in which you choose to pretend to be a slave, assassin, or noble lady, which have varying different mechanics tied to them. But, yeah, it doesn't seem like a super interesting title, especially because the mainline titles already seem to kind of dive down into being uninteresting from what I've heard as well, even on this stream. Because we're going to have to go through Unity, we're going to have to go through Syndicate, as well as Black Flag, but I've actually heard good things about Black Flag. And then we get to get into the super duper Ubisoft RPG era, that will be Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. Of which I've heard that Valhalla is basically big, big map with lots to do, but purely for the experience of doing them as well. But yeah, it'll be interesting to get to those ones because they kind of feel the least Assassin's Creedy to me. And then maybe someday we'll get to Mirage. I'll have to buy it. Maybe. 
Depends if I'm just totally done with Assassin's Creed by the end. Because, like, I've heard nothing about Mirage. The most I've heard about Mirage was from Yahtzee Kroshaw's, Kroshaw's uh, semi ramblomatic about a thing. And that was mostly, like, uh, him deriding it because the difficult. I think it was in his difficulty curve ramblomatic. The paradox of player gets stronger and game gets harder thing. That was a good video. But in it, he talked about how, uh, as a brief aside, that Mirage was supposed to be a return to form. And by that, they mean you're able to kill five guys at once with ghost powers. Which does not feel very return to form. But who knows? Who knows? At least it seems the most Assassin's Creedy out of all the modern era. From Origins to Odyssey to Valhalla, the gameplay semi looked like Assassin's Creed beyond the RPG elements. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Wait and see how. what rest things there are for me. But that is Assassin's Creed 3 done. Because there's really nothing else I care to do in this game. And again, probably going to skip Liberation. But no, that means that next time won't be Assassin's Creed 3. We'll probably return to a game that I haven't streamed in a while. More than likely, Ace Attorney Trilogy. The last case, episode 4? Of the third Ace Attorney game. We're probably going to return to that so we can finish it off. And just so I can square that away, because I like Ace Attorney, but I think I was beginning to hit burnout with it for some reason, and so I took a break. I need to return to it so I can clear it off, and so it won't occupy space in my mind in a negative light. If I really super duper like it, and it occupies it, being like, I remember that memory. It was quite nice. That would be good. But as a, hmm, I need to go back and finish that kind of way, that kind of square away. But then after that, because that should only take two, three streams, maybe. Hmm. But after that, we will have to decide on what to do. We could always return to Breath of the Wild. Maybe we could return to Jedi Fallen Order. But I think after we beat Ace Attorney, that we might head in to a Pokemon adventure. I need to decide if I want to do Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky or Pokemon Coliseum. I'll have to decide that. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe I'll also return to my jumping around between two game format. And then I could jump around between two Pokemon games and just saturate myself in Pokemon. Waha! <laughs> but either way, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, everything that I do can be found through my link tree. Linktr.ee slash wings. Such things that can be found in there are my edited content YouTube channel. I swear content to that is coming at some point. Blah, blame the brain. As well as links to my streaming channel, YouTube Neon Icy Games, where you can watch me stream games live or watch previous streams and Let's Plays. And if you prefer to watch me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. All those links found in my link tree. And if you want other things from me, like my character in the corner, art that I draw... Links to all my social medias where I post art can also be found there. And if you want to read stories that I have written and am writing, you can find links to those resources. And if you want to throw a dollary do my way, you can find a link to my Patreon to help stave off the darkness. Perhaps. Nah. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.